I'm Joe Chavaria, president of The Credit Agents, and the purpose of this video is I want to go ahead and give away the secrets on how to repair your own credit report. So let's begin. So the first step to improving your own credit report is, of course, having the information in front of you. And no better way to knowing what's on your credit report other than pooling your own credit report. Now, there are a couple of places where you can go to get your free copy of your credit report. Um, the government-mandated site is called annualcreditreport.com and you can get a free copy of your credit report once per year per bureau from TransUnion, Experian, or Equifax. Now, you're not gonna get your credit scores, but you will get the information that is reporting to your credit report. If you would like to get your credit scores, the website that we would recommend to get all three reports and scores in one is called all3scores.com. That's A-L-L, the number three, scores.com. So, in step one, you're gonna to wanna to get the information on how to pull your own credit report. Step two, once you have the information in front of you, you're gonna to wanna to go through your entire credit report and inspect it for inaccurate, misleading, or any information that's outdated, meaning it's seven years or older and it should not be reported on your credit report anymore. Look at collection accounts, look at charged off accounts, look at open credit cards that you may have, and look at the credit limits to verify that they're reporting correct information. Also, don't forget to look at the personal information on your credit report, which is typically the first information you see when you first get your credit report. Make sure your name is spelled correctly. Make sure the address history, make sure that the uh, address history is correct. Make sure your date of birth. Make sure all that information is accurate because you want, of course, all the information going to the right credit file and you don't want anybody else who has a similar name um, as you, any of their information end up on your credit report. So make sure your credit report is 100% accurate, 100% um, all these accounts are verified that they belong to you, uh, of course, and these items are being 100% reported within the seven year statute limitation. Now, if you notice you have errors any mistakes or any uh, inaccurate information on your credit report, well, step three is to actually go ahead and dispute those accounts with the credit reporting bureaus. Now, the best way to do that is to simply write them a letter. It doesn't have to be pretty, it doesn't have to be fancy, but make sure you have their correct address, and usually on the credit report, their address information will be somewhere on that report. Send them a letter and put the items that are on there that don't belong to you or, or basically are inaccurate or questionable, and just let the credit bureaus know, dear credit bureau, I'm so and so, make sure all your information is on there. These accounts are on my credit report. I don't agree with, with, with this information. It doesn't belong to me. This account is inaccurate. Whatever your, your case may be, send that in a writing to the credit bureaus. And then at this point, step four is just a waiting game. Once the credit reporting bureaus receive your dispute letter, they have 30 days to investigate the accounts that you disputed. When they investigate these accounts, they're contacting or supposed to be contacting the items that were, uh, were on the, the letter you sent over, whether it's a debt collector, an original creditor, a courthouse, whoever it may be. They're supposed to contact those companies and basically forward them the dispute that you sent in and have them respond back to the bureau. If there's no response or if the information comes back as unverifiable, then by law, they are required to remove that account from your credit report and of course mail you the results of the investigations. Anytime you get an account removed from your credit report, that is good for your credit score because your credit score was once hindered by that negative account that was on your credit report. Now it is no longer hindered by that item because it no longer is there. Once the item is removed, it's permanently gone. It cannot come back on your credit report unless the credit report uh, credit bureaus notify you in writing, which doesn't rarely happen, but it can happen, but we haven't seen it um, in eight years of being, uh, business and doing credit repair ourselves. If you send the letter to the credit bureaus, you're waiting for them to respond back. The final fifth and final step is basically repeat that process for any items that came back verifiable, belonging to you, and can continue to be persistent and follow up with the credit bureaus. If the investigation came back, they verify the account is accurate and you know for a fact that that item is not accurate, doesn't belong to you, follow up with the bureaus again. Send them another letter. They'll have another 30 days to respond back to you, but stay on top of them. Stay persistent. I hope this information was helpful. If you are interested in getting started and repairing your own credit, if you go to our website, if you go to creditagents.com forward slash free kit, there is a free kit for you to download to kind of get a couple of letters, a couple of samples, a couple of uh, uh, good tidbit information in there um, to help you start the process of repairing your own credit. Gladly, we're happy to, to still uh, assist you if you have more questions or if you'd like to schedule a free consultation, we'll do that for, uh, for you as well. But go ahead and get your free kit, get started, try to repair your credit uh, on your own. We're here for you if you need some additional help. Again, that website, creditagents.com forward slash free kit. Thank you.